Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to hopefully resolve the blue screen of death that you might get with a system service exception, um, Windows 32K based dot system or dot SYS. And some of you guys might be getting this error. I did have one guy send me a message regarding this specific error. So typically um, if you're experiencing random shutdowns on your computer, without giving you any warning, it can definitely be annoying. And apparently at some point all these stop codes could just become more and more frequent. So I'm gonna make a brief tutorial about showing how to hopefully resolve this issue. So I'm going to pretty much be going through drivers um, to see if we can update some potential drivers that could be creating this issue. So we're going to pretty much be working in the device manager settings in Windows for this tutorial. And we're going to pretty much start by heading over to the start menu and we're going to search up device manager. And it should be listed directly above control panel. So you want to left click on that. So now is the really important part. Um, this will be very um, computer manufacturer specific. So if you have Dell or HP or Acer, I would recommend going to their websites and verifying um, the drivers after we're done doing what we're about to go through in this tutorial, because this will be a general overview of certain areas I would look for to see if you should update your drivers that could probably be leading to this error. So again, you might have to manually go on and check for yourself. But there's a few different areas that I would check into first. The first area would be the network adapter. I would try right clicking on it and then select update driver software. If that does not work, if you have a Bluetooth enabled device or if you have Bluetooth drivers on this list, I'd recommend also updating that as well. Also, I'd recommend underneath display adapters Again, you right click on it and then you would left click on update driver software. You can also refer to the software manufacturer's website. So for example, if you had a NVIDIA display adapter, um, you would go to, to the NVIDIA website. You would not be bothering a main computer manufacturer because this would be a display adapter provided by whoever made your display device, which is usually AMD or NVIDIA. Those are the two big ones. But I just want you guys to keep that in mind and it should be pretty straightforward. I'd recommend right clicking on it and then going through updated driver software. I'd recommend searching automatically for updated driver software first. If unfortunately it does not find any updated software, then you can just manually update driver software by selecting the second option from this list. And if you're curious, if you're running the latest version, you can also right click on the display adapter and then left click on properties. If you go underneath the driver tab at the top, it should tell you the driver date and the driver version. You can verify this through the software supports website. And usually before you download anything, it'll say what the driver version is. So you can always double check that way. If that also does not work and you are running the latest version, you can always roll back the driver to a previous version. You could also uninstall the driver entirely and then manually download it again. So a couple different ways you can do it but I just wanted to give you guys a few options on how to maybe resolve this issue. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.